Of course, when a Jesuit event is being planned by any group worldwide, the first speaker to call is always Christopher Lowry. He's been at many of the Congresses. And what an honor it is to tell you a little of the life of our presenter, a man who has globally embodied Jesuit zeal through his quite Christ-like witness and energy. It would be easy to begin by telling you that in second grade, his wife verified this, he got the gold star for both academics and conduct. <coughs> but by his personal and direct request, I will fast forward to when he first met the Jesuits as he entered Regis High School in New York City. After graduation, he entered the Jesuits and earned a BA in history, summa cum laude, and an MA in philosophy, both in 1981 from Fordham University. He also earned five Beta Kappa honors there. He moved from the Jesuits and worked at J.P. Morgan Bank from 1983 to 2001, serving in Asia, Africa, and as managing director in London. Since 2013, he has been chair of the Board of Catholic Health Initiatives, America's second largest not-for-profit healthcare system, with more than 80 hospitals and 10.7 billion in annual revenues. Chris is deeply committed to all things Jesuit and makes us all proud to be in the global Jesuit network as he writes leadership. In addition to authoring five best-selling books, <laughs> he has delivered talks and conferences on leadership, decision-making, and business ethics on six continents. Chris has spoken repeatedly about the effect that his Jesuit education has had on him and his impact on his modest activities including serving as the volunteer founding president of Jesuit Commons, an international collaboration which offers online university education to refugees in Africa and elsewhere. He conceived and co-founded Contemplative Leaders in Action, an emerging leader formation program, and Pilgrimage for Our Children's Future. Back to those books. His latest fits the theme of this gathering so well, as it is entitled Everyone Reads. You may even be able to pick up a copy here during the gym. As my son Danny came home from college this spring, he saw my copy on the table and read it cover to cover during a tribe baseball rain delay. He texted, picked up your Everyone Leads book, really enjoying it, and not just because he refers to one of my Notre Dame profs in Chapter 2. I want my friends to read it. Have him autograph it at Wujim. High praise indeed for a 20-year-old. Please welcome that author. 